Hi, welcome back to Black Mamba Workouts. My name is Selena Cordoba L. And uh, this afternoon, I wanted to work on our adductors, which is the outside of our hips, making sure that we can also uh, continue to build on our glutes and our hamstrings, especially if you had open knee surgery or any type of knee injury. This is great for strengthening your patella and all the muscles on the outside of your patella as well. So we're gonna start with, um, again, a 25 pound weight. If you don't have a 25 pound weight, you can use a 10 or a five. I'm just trying to build a little bit more muscle now that I have the strength. So thank you guys for tuning in and um, here we go. You grab onto your weight, whether it's wrapped in a pillowcase or a sheet, anything will work. We're gonna do straight to the side and up. Straight down and up. Three. I'm holding this out to make it a compound exercise, strengthening my shoulders as well. You want to make sure you step hip width distance, bend your bum straight back into a chair, and push straight up. Keeping your abs in and your shoulders lifted. I'm going to take 10 to the next side. I changed my form a little. You can hold on to your weight. Straight hold on to it in your chest. Slow and steady. Each side. These 10, we're going to take the weight straight down and come up. Think of your right leg being slightly bent, straight down and up. When you're working with 10 pound weights, think of lifting the weight over your head as you come up. Take it to the left side. Again, your left knee is slightly bent. Aha, I caught you. <clears throat> Straight down and up. If you lose your balance like I just did, regain it and come straight down and up. It's a lot easier with 10 pounds. You want to work towards your potential though? Again, another set. Make sure you keep your weight balanced on both legs. You want to make sure you're not putting any pressure on your lower back by leaning over too much. Taking five more. Straight out to the side in the lunge and push up with your supporting leg. Straight 
straight down and up. Stay right here so that you don't have to switch sides. Just wanted to show you how it looks. Straight down and up. Drop that weight, I'm gonna move into some deadlifts. Deadlifts are great for building your lower back to make sure that when you do pick heavy things up, you don't throw your back out. It's never good to do exercises where you're not supporting your lower back. A lot of people are doing workouts based on, you know, just getting in shape. But if you don't understand how the body works, you will put a detriment on certain muscle groups. You don't want to be here and working your upper body with no support on your lower back because you will hurt yourself eventually. It's a great way to strengthen your lower back. You want to think of holding your weight, body distance apart or shoulder distance apart a little wider. You're going to bend your knees, keep your abs pulled in and touch straight down and come up. I can go a little faster with these and increase my reps because this bar is only 25 pounds. It's pretty light. Straight down and up. You want to think of bending through your body and sticking your bum out while not collapsing in your rib cage. Take 15 more, making it 25. It's a proper way to do a de deadlift. Again, your feet are a little wider than hip distance. You're squatting straight back and coming straight up. Think of the weight as being an extension of your body. right above your kneecaps onto your thighs. Keeping your shoulders pulled back. Good. Once you finish that, also think of ways if you have a five pound weight, you can use this as a stability. But you want to think of raising out and down. Keeping your body stable. Don't lean to the side. Stay straight up and down so that you can use your oblique to lift your leg. Keeping your supporting leg slightly bent. And take it to the other side. Straight up and down. Don't lean and tilt your body. from the side, from the front, 
keep your body as stable as possible. And keep your leg flexed, your toes, or pointed. The bars only be used for balance. So you're gonna go ahead and drop that. You can do the same thing to the back. So when you're here, you wanna lift and extend. Excellent for your glutes. Add a weight to that leg to make it a little harder. Build a little more muscle. Because I did them already with my weight, I'm not gonna do them again. Inhale, keep your legs slightly bent. Lift, extend, and down. Ten is fine. Ten on each leg, four reps, yeah, 40. I'm not gonna do four reps to show off. You get the basic form. I laugh because it's not for me. I really wanna show proper form so people can build muscle at home. When they're watching TV, after you put your kids down, go ahead and lower your weight. Another great way to build your core muscles as well as your arms. If you don't have extenders, you can use the floor. I just like using my hand pads because I do have them. So I don't have to put my hands on the floor anymore. What you want to think of doing is a compound exercise. It's bending your knees up to your elbows while you switch. Keeping your body down. Don't lift your body up. It's almost like a tricep push. I'm in a tricep position. in child's pose and stretch out your back as well as your triceps. You want to do two sets of those. So after you do something like that, you can do your basic, I think of doing my harder things first and then my simpler exercises. So that was a compound exercise using my triceps, my abs, my core, everything. So now I can lighten up and just do a basic alternating push up. So I say alternating because one arm is gonna be a little more in front of the other. You wanna do 10 on each side. Finish that, make sure your left arm is moved forward and your right arm is slightly back. So if you don't have those, you think of it as being on a side distance so you can isolate your tricep and your bicep. Straight down and up. Keeping your head not lifted or not tilted down. You want to think of yourself on one level. And again, rest in child's pose. Once you finish that, and you do three or four reps, you want to think of always doing 30 to 45 or whatever it is you're starting on. So you can build the muscle. It's great to stay focused on one group and then move on. So, 
now that I've done those, you want to make sure it's stretching whatever you use out. Got my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle towel. Turtle power. You want to go ahead and think of stretching out whatever groups you did use. So again, you're laid straight down. Think of bringing your right leg, pull it into your chest, keeping your supporting leg planted firmly on the ground. If you have to flex your feet to do so, please do so. When you're pulled in here, think of using this as a great way to relieve gas out of your small and lower intestine as well. So if you drink or eat too much the night before, this is a great way to relieve a lot of toxins out of your body. Hold a stretch for at least 10 to 15 seconds. Inhale and exhale. If you have injuries, you'll feel where the switch of your tendons are, like myself. But work through that and don't try to do too much. Everything okay with the camera? I want to think of doing the same thing on the left. I actually like taking my shoes off when I stretch so that I can use my toes. So again, think of using all of your muscle groups prior to a workout and then stretch them out. my shoes so I can get into my hips a little bit better and not get my hands so dirty. Think of being in frog position and bring your toes close as you can while not lifting your lower bum up off the floor it's to extend your lower spine. Think of using your elbows as anchors for your knees. Come straight down. And do things like this without looking like a sogini or a hogini, which is a, a term my boy Cav discovered to describe these women that are getting naked to do yoga. When yoga is so about opening your chakras, you don't need to be so extreme and do everything naked. This is such a visual society, you can pretty much imagine what someone looks like naked. Why be naked? So when you're here again, think of rolling your lower spine down. Try not to keep it up. Use your arms to stabilize your kneecaps. Then you can extend your legs. Once you do this for 10, 15 seconds, then you can bring your legs together. Place your hands firmly against the floor and roll your spine back. Think of extending your bum up. slowly come down. So again, you want to use your elbows as anchors so that you can get into positions like turtle, which is great for slowing down the heartbeat, as well as calming one's nerves, as well as recycling all of the toxic blood and flushing a whole bunch of oxygenated through the body. 
So once you're here, you can do things like bring your toes behind and pop your head out like a turtle. The camera doesn't need to be on top of you. You get the idea. Inhale and exhale. And then you can switch toes. Gripping your hands if you can. Then slowly opening your legs, giving thanks to the Creator. Recycling that energy into your womb. People ask me all the time, how are you with such small hips able to have such a big child? Women with small bodies have been giving birth for centuries. So don't let anyone put negative thoughts into your mind or make you feel like you're gonna have to have a C-section because it's not true. You have babies that fit your body. My son wasn't a huge eight pound baby but he was a healthy, healthy child whom I breastfed and whom I pushed through naturally with no drugs. So it is possible. Don't let anyone make you feel like, you know, you're gonna stretch out and have all these stretch marks. As long as you butter your body and take care of your skin. I remember my grandmother telling me, look, when you run out of lotion, use Crisco. And it's true, use what you have. Sometimes you can't afford certain things and it can depress you. So instead of being in a space of depression, use what you have. Going back into a child's pose. Then roll up. You can stretch out your psoas muscles through camel position. For me, I feel this a little on my knees. So I try to make sure that I have something to support my knees so they're not slammed into the floor. Grab my glasses so I'm not squinting so much. So again, when you're here, don't think of sitting back in your body. Keep your body pressed forward. Lift up through your rib cage. And then, Again, this is such a society where bigger is better. And it doesn't always have to be like that. Work towards your potential. Don't wish to be anybody else's size or width or depth. Enjoy what God gave you. Even if it's small hips and a healthy smile, enjoy that. It's a great way to align the spine and to wring out everything that we just worked on. So again, you wanna take your legs from a seated position Cross your right leg straight down. Cross your left over your right kneecap. Make sure that your ankle and your knee are aligned. Stretch up through your back. Use your left arm as a buoy. Raise your right and twist. I'm gonna take this arm and bring it around my body. Hold on to my inner thigh. Think of keeping your supporting thigh planted on the ground. Then you're gonna release and do the same thing. This is your last exercise. We only worked out for about 15, 20 minutes, but you hit all muscle groups. And then when you go upstairs into your home, you can do things like your sit up, your uh, leg presses and other exercises. Again, use your right arm as a buoy. Raise your left over your right knee. Grab onto your left knee, take your supporting hand, and turn. And release. So again, thank you for tuning in to uh, Black Mamba Workouts. I have a variety of stuff on my uh, blog. If you guys are interested in 
strengthening the body, especially if you have injuries, aligning the spine, and combining both yoga and strength training so that you don't just become so rubber bandy that you have nothing to encase and to enclose your muscles. As we get a little older, it's great to build muscle. So women, don't be afraid to pick up 25, 15 pound weights and actually do your lunges and your assisted lunges with weights. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, you can see all my information on my blog as to where to email me. And I have a glorious day. Peace.